What is up guys, Jack Frost Miner here, and I'm back with another video, and this is a highly requested video. You guys want to know a little bit more about 0.7.0 and everything I know. So I'm just going to lay it on the line here and kind of go through everything that we know is going to happen. Um, and pretty much, you know, just everything planned so far, and there there's possibility of new features coming in the future. Um, but anyway, here's pretty much everything we know about this future update. Um... First off, this is coming around April. Of course, there's not going to be any specific dates. Um, there usually isn't until, you know, days before it releases any specific date, but um, they probably just don't want to upset anyone by saying, like, a date and then they have it coming out later than that. So uh, they'll definitely hold off on the date for a little longer here. But what we're looking at in this update is buckets, um, it, which is a possibility. Um, they said they've had a lot of trouble with them. But we can kind of see them cr creeping up on us and hopefully being in this next update. Also, online multiplayer is almost like completely 100% confirmed. It was previewed at Minecon 2012. And the way these will work, um, as far as we know, is they'll be hosted on a, on a server, on a computer, a lot like the um, PC servers, but you'll be able to join using a Mojang account. And um, we believe these Mojang accounts, you won't have to pay for them or anything. Um, they'll just be linked to your Minecraft account and you can buy PC Minecraft from there. But these will be used in-game, which is actually really cool. It'll have in-game chat, hopefully, um, which is almost confirmed pretty much for the most part. And as well as usernames over the players. So it's going to be a pretty much full-blown multiplayer. Um, and I can't really, can't wait for that. That's going to be incredible. A lot of server opportunities and a lot of servers starting to build, uh, their territories here as we come down the home stretch to the new updates. Um, also, we will have an option screen in game. This is actually a really cool screen. Um, I'll put it up. I'll put a picture up. As you can see on the left side, we have login, game, input, and graphics. It looks like we are in the graphics section here. And as you can see, in you can change the different uh, graphics, not just to fancy or medium or low. Now you can actually have low graphics with fancy. Uh, fancy skies and, and uh, different types of animated water, experimental graphics, which I'm not too sure means, and I don't know anyone else really knows what that means besides the developers, but the fancy graphics, you'll be able to turn that off and still have the skies and animated water, which is really, really cool. So I can't wait for that. Again, the input menu, I'm not really too sure about. The game, I guess, just brings you back into your game. And the login, I guess you can log into your account from there. We're not really too sure about that. That was just a little teaser picture. Um, so I think it's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to be very interesting. Um, another thing uh, that are future plans that are maybe possibly coming in 0 0.7.0 but are not too sure is uh, camera implementations. It was it was at the panel in Minecon uh, 2012. It was stated a long time ago to have future plans. They kind of backed off of it and. What this is kind of hopefully going to do, um, they just talk about this a little bit, is provide screenshots and stuff without any of the GUI in front, which which um, should be coming sometime, or I don't know really what they're doing about that, but that has been in the game for a long time, and there's a small chance we can expect it in this update. Um, Infinite Worlds, they talked about this a lot. Um, we, we don't really see this coming too soon in the future. It can sneak up on us, but... I mean, with the with the devices running now, it's it's probably going to be pretty difficult. Maybe just bigger worlds we'll see in the future. I'm not sure about infinite worlds for a long time here. Um, yes. Now, next on the list, we have redstone. Redstone is has been you know talked about a long time. The ore has been in the game since the very beginning, I believe, and. Um, there's different, like, redstone power that you can get from furnaces and sugarcane and signs and all these tricks, but no official redstone yet, and we're not going to see that, I don't think, in 0 0.7.0 or, um, anything kind of after that. I think we'll see that later on, um, once we get, you know, um, better, uh, better technology and better, um, I guess just lag-free, uh, you know, techniques with this, uh, game creation. And the sky additions, um, not only do we have a fancy sky now, but we are looking forward into the future and seeing um, we'll soon have stars, suns, and moons, and sunrises, and everything like that um, to kind of level it up to the PC version here. But this probably will not come in 0.7.0. Again, none of this is actually completely 
um, written in stone, so this could all change. But this is just everything we know so far, and it, it'll seem that we may get these suns in um, maybe a few updates after, a few minor updates after 0 0.7.0, or sometime heading in the future here. Also, we're talking about customizable skins. Um, these are available um, for anyone, really, but you won't be able to see it on other devices. And I think through multiplayer, what they're trying to go for is being able to have customizable skins, which will most likely be linked to your Mojang account. So... Right now you can change your skin, anyone can, um, but it's not visible by other players, and I think that's what they're going for with this customizable skins. Um, and a lot of people want caves. Now, to talk about caves, it's really vague right now. They may have an option for it, uh, for better devices, a toggleable option. Um, so, that's kind of what they stated, and I think Jeb stated that, and that will be coming in later updates, hopefully. Again, none of this is confirmed. Also, Johan mentioned in the issue tracker... Um, which is very interesting, the nether re reactor may be replaced in the future, meaning they may have another dimension in the future or another technique in the future. This is, you know, probably looking on pretty far ahead, but that's some pretty um, interesting information because the nether reactors, you know, some people like it, a lot of people don't like it. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it because it is pretty cost effective, but with the new um, production that it kind of gives, I think it's pretty good. But, um, yeah, so... That is pretty much all for this update. Um, it's not a lot yet, but it's not coming for another month or two. Um, um, well, let's let's count here. We're beginning on March, so we're coming up on March here. So you know, it could be a month, it could be two months. We're we're not really sure. But I hope this uh, this video is help helpful for you guys. Um, I'll leave a link below to the change log. So far, um, it's not an official. It's not one of those official change logs, but it's um, everything that's been announced. And uh, it's kind of a reference point for this video. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was highly requested, so I had to kind of pull one out of my um, my uh, sleeve here. And I hope you guys did enjoy. hope I informed you guys well enough. If you don't have a Twitter, I advise you getting one because you can get updates uh, much more frequently than I actually release videos. Um, you know, you can just like have it. Just random Twitter you follow, you know, me and Johan, you know what I mean? You know, I'm just playing, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later, and as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya.